It is me, your boy, Sven, coming to the NFTGLs. We have videos from Jersey Cup. Jersey Cup is regular Tecmo or Super. Anyway, they played the Jersey Cup one or two weeks ago, and we recorded everything for you. So if you like Tecmos, smoosh the like button and subscribe to the NFTGLs. Also, in a few weeks, the NFTGL will return from its COVID break. Yay! Yay! So tune in and follow us on the Twitches and on the YouTubes. All right, we're getting ready to go to kickoff. You can see as you get deeper and deeper into these tournaments and people get more and more competitive, this setup stuff takes longer. Sometimes you need, you need a little break between the games. You need to like unloosen the knots from, or I guess maybe loosen them, because unloosening would be tightening. So loosen the knots from the previous game, get a breather. Maybe de sweat your ass a little bit. It's these damn leather seats, man. it out of bounds. <clears throat> and we're finally off, 13 minutes into the video. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's funny, it's getting longer. Like the, the last three games have all gone over 10 minutes for setup. And earlier in the day, it was like three to five minutes tops. They're just getting like more and more delayed. It's funny. Which I, I, I totally understand. It's, I, for my, my the TSB three stuff I do, it's the same way. You get when we get towards the playoffs and, and all the games are starting to matter and, the and, and yeah, the games take longer. It's like before where you have people rapid firing their play calls as soon as the whistle goes. All of a sudden, it's like thirty five seconds of thinking. <laughs> oh, Huge broken tackle for Chris Carter on the punt return. Both of these guys like to play their games like uh, beautiful army haircuts, high and tight. Both play really controlled. Should be a <clears throat> real back and forth, I think. Deadpool runs for three. Wait, Wilson. Well, no, no. That's his, Deadpool. Deadpool's name is Wade Wilson. This Wade Wilson might actually have a, a, a real nickname. Deep pass. Be 
between the arms and incomplete. Back to back three and outs. This is what I expected from this matchup. I'm excited that we're seeing a little bit of downfield passing. Some decent punt returns. We've reached the point at Tecmo tournaments where we talk about medical and health concerns during games. <laughs> it's not because the game it's old, it's because we're old. Huge downfield catch by Hellard. Millard is trying to show him how to reach the end zone. Hellard breaks the tackle and then gets taken down by drones. Can't at tout the drones. Uh, Cleveland Gary gets the ball, runs up, breaks the tackle, and runs into the end zone. I, I know from having watched the earlier games how much you're both capable of tapping, but I'm not going to say anything because, you know, I know what you can tap, and I know what Brian can tap. But I'm not going to say anything. I am an uninterested observer just here to make stupid comments. I didn't get paid shit. <laughs> I got pizza and Coke. I'm just here because I like it. You didn't get any pizza? Oh, yeah, my wife, my wife deals with that. Um, Uno's actually has some, like, okay gluten-free pizza. Okay. Yeah, like, like a lot of the local pizza shops that we go to, they have, uh, they, they all get the, pretty much the same pre-made gluten-free crust that's, like, super flimsy. Um, Uno's makes their own, and it's actually, like, pretty rigid, and it, like, feels like pizza instead of, like, floppy cheese. <clears throat> But they also have like they know that their gluten, their pepperoni is gluten free, so you can get pepperoni, whereas not all pepperonis are. And sometimes it's hard to trust uh, toppings at pizza shops. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Deep pass. Rams unsure who to start with. They're going to go with Humphrey. It's a pitch down to Walker. Lots of blockers. Cuts up in the middle. Humphrey gets there and gets the tackle. Third and four. Kevin Green coming up from the bottom, called play. Deadpool gets the ball off and the diving catch by Anthony Carter. Boy, Subco here is one of those guys that posts on the internet about how he beats all of his friends and he could beat everyone else on the internet at Tecmo and shows up to his first tournament and does it. Where are my posts? I don't even have a Facebook. The internets. 
the internets. I don't know. Out, out there in the web. The world wide web. Wade Wilson rolls out down bottom, chucks it up to Jones up top, gets the first down by a nose. Newsom Deadpool takes the run, gains four yards. Wilson under center, draws back, goes for the run, runs for the first, seven yard gain. Slowly matriculating their way towards the end zone. Grinding out. We're on way. To uh, like a 10 to 7 final or something. Mm. Rams not sure who to use. Going to go with Kevin Green. Really mixing it up. Lots of open players. Deadpool goes for the run again. Small gain. Third and eight. We didn't see one person open. Wilson drops back again. Oh, he crosses the line of scrimmage and tries to throw the ball. That's devastating. Potentially huge flub in a high tier game. Kicks it deep to Johnson in the end zone. That's what she said. Buford McGee. You don't meet a lot of Bufords these days. We're down to about eight people in the room. Everyone's tired, exhausted from their day's Tecmo. Horrible, horrible throw by Jim Everett. The kind of pass that only Jim Everett can make. Called play. Clock ticks out. Gets the jump and catch the Ellard. Can Browner stop them? Gets a bunch of help and they get the tackle. Good half, fellas. Oh, we get the abdomen. We get the dancing girls. seen both of them. to seven now? Eight, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I know why.
Herschel Walker dancing in the backfield. Ooh, he sheds the tackle. Gets out in the open field. He's zigging. He's zagging. He's at the 30, the 25, the 18, the 7. He runs out of bounds, and we're not sure if that was on purpose or not. It was definitely on purpose. If, if I wasn't going to do it there, I was going to do it at least one yard from there. Deadpool drops back, chucks it to Jones for the interception in the end zone. And the Rams have some really good names on their team. Gary hits, hits the open field. Oh, it cuts right out of bounds. <laughs> Everett tricks everybody and goes for a run. Called play. Everett gets the ball off, throws it to Ellard. Ellard dives for it through the arms. And out of bounds. Rams maintain their small lead. Like you said we were looking at a really close ending here. Big catch downfield by Pete Hollihan. Big Pete. Joey Browner staring down Cleveland Gary and all of his blockers. Cleveland gains seven yards and steps out of bounds. Browner again. Browner and Gary one on one. Gets a little help and then comes in for the tackle. But Gary's done the damage, gotten the first down. The loser of this game will move on to our next game. Oh, here he is. Hey, me. I played him online. I've never played him live. Might as well get to do it now. Cleveland Gary dumps downstairs again. Keeps running. Grinding downfield. <clears throat> Studwell's going to make the play here. We can feel it. Jim Everett runs for the first down. The Rams meticulously moving. The Browns are trying, looking for the stop, but Cleveland just keeps pounding that rock. Holds him up long enough to get the drone tackle. Clock ticks down to four. Second down, Joey Browner, Jim Everett. Where's the touchdown? It's right in the middle of Buford McGee. This is bad, everyone. I'm learning players' names. You feel awful. Yeah. Um, you looked at them, and I, I saw like you have a Buford. You have uh, what's that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. I don't. Yeah, yeah I, I remember smoking the bandit. I just I don't remember the the, the movies well enough to. It's been a couple decades since I've seen it. Maybe more. Rams go out to a double-digit lead. 
former champion, Bad Moon Rising, going into JJ territory. Expect to see a lot of that. The Gats style of offense, drop back, chuck it deep. Drop back, chuck it deep. I've had all that I can stams and I can't stams no more. Crocs back again, no pressure. Wade's got all day. He releases it, he's throwing it to Jordan deep downfield. It's going to the end zone, way into the back, and it's out the back. Huge throw by Wade Wilson to the stands. Looking like Michael Vick in a commercial. Here we go. There's the throw. He chucks it downfield to Carter. Gets the dive. Gets the touchdown. Garbage. <laughs> They're just really excited about whatever's going on over there. Pre-championships game and like. Only half the room is paying attention. Should there be more? Yes. Everyone should be paying attention. No one should be paying attention to me. All right, the Rams got the ball. The Vikings need a huge stop here. Subco's going for a seven and a half minute drive here. My man there definitely studs well. The seriousness on their faces. The intensity. Cleveland Gary with a five yard gain on second down. Brings up third and five. Rams are already know what they're gonna do. Bad Moon digging in the tank, looking for the answer. Did he call the play? Did he not? He's going with Millard. He calls the play. He still gets the ball off and it's caught. Flipper Anderson. Pitches upstairs to Gary, runs along the sidelines. Browner tries to show him his way to the 50-yard uh, line. He gets a first. Another timeout by the Vikings. We run into it quickly. Every, oh, big pro play and gets a first down. Beautiful play by the rookie tournament attendee. Prior to yesterday, he'd never played a game of Tecmo. Goes back to Millard, rushes in, hits Gary in the backfield, goes for the dive and misses it. Cleveland Gary's got the open field, he steps out of bounds, he doesn't like touchdowns. Nine seconds to go with a four point lead. And he goes for the free win and the punt kick. Gets it off, no block, time's expired. And Supko moves on to the championship match to face the winner of Bad Moon Rising versus someone else. We'll find out in the next game in the, ch in the championship round of the loser bracket. Tune in. No, it's coming back. <clears throat>